finally, I'm here with uh, Jöran from uh, Family Tree DNA. We've been able to meet. We only met online for uh, uh, actually two years, three years, and uh, we've been doing some um, YouTube videos together here on this channel, and talking a lot about research. I know a lot of you who are following me on on this channel on Viking stories. You've been very curious to everything that you're doing you know, it's very much appreciated obviously and uh, the reason why Jöran who's Swedish but living in Texas uh, what he's doing here in Oslo is because this weekend we've had a great Explorers Club weekend and as you can see here Jöran is a member fellow member of the Explorers Club right 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 yeah so um, uh, and you came to Oslo a beautiful came to Oslo fall day in Oslo, uh, weekend I mean, today also. I think it's been 15 years or something since I was here last time, yeah? so it's great to be back here. <laughs> and uh, it was funny, we've been talking, I mean the Explorers Club members, they're doing lots of stuff on top of mountains and uh, uh, microbes and, and uh, stellar, or, or not stellar, but other planets, uh, but we're talking, talking about what's inside of us, right, and uh, what we have inherited. And, uh, Yep. Oh, uh, by the way, we are uh, we are here at uh, our publishing house, and uh, uh, because I just got this book back uh, from the press now, and uh, we're gonna send it out in two days' time, and I'm able to give my uh, version of the book to Jöran. So I hope you enjoy the book. Absolutely, looking forward to reading it. <laughs> so we thought now that we're here and. Uh, after the week has passed, we could uh, sit down and have a nice chat about DNA uh, and, and uh, your work um, here on this channel. And uh, while we were sitting here now, before recording this, suddenly this journalist came by who's got this, he says he's craving for, uh, he's trigger happy when he ever holds a gun, but that's because of hunting, because he's so interested in hunting, it's immense. And he talked with us this weekend and he was just, wow, this is perfect. I mean, you really can feel it, <laughs> and there's no trend trait, a hunting trait, is there? Huh? Or, I don't know. Well, well, we can find one. So I'm kind of the opposite myself. So I live in Texas, so I enjoy shooting. Yeah. But I'm also a vegetarian, so I don't really hunt animals. Yeah, but you enjoy shooting, huh? Yeah. Right. And uh, then a person who works here as a publisher came by, and she's adopted from Korea. And she sat down and wanted to do a DNA test also. So both of them are doing DNA tests now because there have been these new stories about uh, people from Korea who uh, actually probably were abducted, uh, not adopted, but abducted or, or right. sold or so. It's a crazy and, and horrible stories coming out. So she wanted to do a DNA test to see, because you have a project on that with Korean uh, right. adoptees, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there are a number of ways that Yoram can uh, help uh, or, or um, yeah, well, help people find answers, basically. And that, that's what I find intriguing about being able to talk with you and, and work with you. That's what it's all about, right? And for our work in the Explorers Club, or at least my work there, it's about exploring mm. the human history through, through yeah. DNA, through these history records that we have within us. Yeah, absolutely. And um, yeah, we've had a lot of talks about DNA and, and all kinds of stuff all weekend, but uh, one of the things I found really intriguing was to hear the work that you, you um, have been doing on ancient DNA. I know a lot of you guys are interested in both you have taken your DNA test and just for uh, out of interest. And it turns out you have now on the, uh, what is it, Y chromosome, you have 6,000 ancient DNA samples. Do you hear that? 6,000, right? Right. And that's only Y chromosome, and you're, you're starting now a new project with uh, mitochondrial DNA. So not the straight paternal line, but uh, the other line. And, and yeah. how many do you, you plan to...? Well, we expect to get at least a double, because we can then include women. And the mitochondria is also more abundant in the cells, so it's the first thing you get from ancient yeah. DNA. So it's we'll easier probably to get find, it. yeah. yeah. So we'll probably double or triple that amount when we come from the mitochondrial. So ancient matching. Wh when is this? Are we talking about in a year or two years? Something or? that we hope to launch next year, sometime next year. Yeah, so that means that uh, a person such as I who have a, I have a big Y test with family tree DNA, but then I can actually get a lot more um, uh, 
ancient collections, right? right? right. Not just the hunters or the warriors or the Vikings, but uh, a lot of women. Uh, yeah. Uh, in in history, but but and, and we don't know all of them. Isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I still Yeah. Just uh, still doing some work here, so it's funny. <laughs> yeah. So so uh, so, what does that mean? Uh, I will be able to because you have. It's not historical persons. We haven't been able to do those collections. It's, it's skeletons from archaeological digs. Right? right, but some of them are historical people. Okay, such as? Well, for example, one of the apostles in that wrote the Bible, part oh, of the Bible, we really? have mitochondria from from him. and there's, So there's a lot of oh, historical yeah, people, oh. like Jack the Ripper. The, the Jack oh. the Rip, Ripper suspect, they tested the DNA from one of these crime scene artifacts. Well, is it a suspect or was it? Uh, well, we don't know. Well, we don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's one of the main suspects. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. That turned out to be a match. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Mm. So uh, there's lots of interesting cases like that. Uh, I know the Romanov. Well, the Romanov, yeah, that's, I, I'm interested in that. The Romanov. Where? We should have more rhetoric from this, uh, before the Romanovs, the Tsars, for 800 years. To see more if they uh, or the, about these uh, um, connections really far back in time and that that, that would be cool because there are lots of them right right, right. and uh, uh, so so not not just ancient history but recent history with, with persons historical historical persons. and prehistorical yeah that's great uh, is, uh, um, what else are you working on now I mean uh, you're on the like the, the head of research and development right. At family training, yeah. Yeah, family. Yeah, so so there, there are more stuff that you're because you just launched this summer. There have been a lot of big news on, on your website. Can you say something about that? Right. So our latest feature that we launched was the Globe Tracker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, which takes this big Y tree that we have of all the male lineages of the world and plots them on a map. Yeah. So it updates every week. So yeah, every week cool. you get you now we have fifty thousand parts, 50,000 yeah. unique parts on a map, yeah. and you can, so you can see which one you belong to and how your ancestors on the paternal line travel across the world and also when, yeah. right? So you can see what, when your line came to Scandinavia, right, right. or when it came to England. Yeah, or yeah. Well, that's interesting. Huh. So this is a, a living map, so to say, that we can, uh, yeah. Yeah, and it updates all the time with every new result. Mm. We get more refinement and more information, so it just the living living tree this is what i find intriguing because we were able to um there's so many new dna studies being published now and, and a lot of them are really really interesting uh and and they're starting to look at traits now also like low blood pressure or sunburn exposure a sort of term for that or aspa even uh and and uh, uh, we're seeing these distinct dis differences between the, the Western hunter-gatherers and the Yamnaya warriors and the early European farmer, and, and then you can see which you have. Uh, it, it's so intriguing, but my point is there's so much coming out now, so you're able to actually take all this information and put it into your database to help all your right. customers, I guess. So we track all the new ancient DNA studies and we add them to our platform. Um, our target is to have Every new study should be uh, available for matching within a month yeah. of publication. Oh, and I think we're tracking that pretty well. Yeah, uh, uh, you gotta have a lot of resources for that to do that. Yeah. We're a small team, but you know. Yeah. So, are you thinking of doing something more now in, in uh, long term? Or I mean, that uh, mitochondrial DNA you're going to—that's that's 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 a big project for yeah. us. Yeah, yeah, that's great, and. Um, I'm thinking when I look at my results uh, on Family Tree DNA, I see these connections going back to different Viking excavations or a Salma burial, for example, and on Iceland you have a DNA. It's really cool in many senses. Uh, but when I see it also, it seems a little bit far away because for me it's like, okay, you got a distant cousin or you got the, the closest connection is 2,200 years ago, mm -hmm. right? But 
uh, is it distant or is it, I mean there are a lot of people who are uh, descendants in the se in the sense right or, or are they more to be considered as these distant cousins? I think in most cases, if you statistically, it's more likely to be a distant cousin. Yeah. It would be a real coincidence if the people that we happen to have DNA tested would be your direct ancestor, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's it's true. probably more likely. It could be a, a brother yeah. of your ancestor or. Uh -huh. so it depends a little bit. We have a, a few hundred cases where we have a big Y customer and their closest match in the whole database is one of these ancient people. Yeah. So they form a branch yeah. on the tree together, just the two of them. Uh -huh. That's cool. And uh, there were three of them now in this new study from, I don't know how to say this, Perise in Romania, which is the burial of the Bathory. Bathory, Bathory family. Mm -hmm. um, so nine individuals from there, two from from that family, yeah. and then yeah. the others were buried together with them, so probably some noble or aristocratic yeah. friends or family. So three of them were had close matches in our database. I think one of them was actually from Sweden. Hmm. So this is really, really um, good to be able to meet you here. I think the next thing I have to do is to go back to Texas. It's been too many years since I was right. there. And, and meet you and see how you work at the, in the, in your lab. Uh, how many people are working there in Texas? Houston, right? That's interesting because now after after the pandemic, a lot of people moved and are working remotely. Yeah. So yeah, I work yeah. a lot remotely. Yeah. But obviously, the lab people need to be in the lab. Yeah. yeah. So. so I would say on every every day, maybe there's some fifty people or so that are in the lab. I imagine you process DNA all the time, right? That's probably a. Well, every day you see a big bag. Yeah. Post bag right coming in with yeah. DNA kit. Which when you take DNA and you send it in, that's you receive it, then you have to process it, and uh, it takes. How, how long does it take when you take a DNA test? For four weeks, is it or? Um, yeah, about four weeks, depending on which type of test. Yeah, um, four course. weeks mm. to two months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like well, I find it intriguing. I find uh, you can find a lot of stuff out about yourself and. Uh, and I've been trying to, in this book also, to write a little bit on why the way we are. Uh, and uh, I'll translate it into English, uh, hopefully soon. With the, because a lot of people have Scandinavian, um, some kind of Scandinavian heritage. And I find that intriguing. So, uh, uh, apparently, a lot of people at the Explorers Club also found it intriguing when I held a small talk about it. So, uh, all in all, we can say DNA is, uh, DNA is pretty cool. and. Uh, there's a lot of exciting stuff coming up, right? There's so much, right? We're just in the beginning of the end, I feel. Yeah, we still learn a lot, but mm. there's a lot more to learn for sure. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it's going to be a really exciting next few years. So. I hope you enjoyed our short chat with you, uh, Jeroen, and uh, in, uh, we'll stay in touch and see what more we can uh, find out on the DNA part. It's going to be a, a exciting times ahead. Absolutely. Mm. Thanks, Jeroen, and uh, you take care.